good afternoon everybody and welcome to West Broom Wiltshire. Uh, we're out at our uh, favourite flying field this afternoon uh, just to try out and give uh, a, a solid test drive of our modified XCAM 450 quadcopter. Uh, this build was put together a couple of days ago just to try out the XCAM frame. Um, they've been available for about a month or so now. Um, I see one or two have started cropping up on YouTube, so we decided about a week ago that um, we'd get one of the frames in just to give it a go, um, with the sole intention that we were going to modify it as well, because we didn't think the 450 frame was, was really very big enough, so the, the idea was always to bang it out to uh, a larger size. Um, but uh, I'll explain a bit more about that in a minute and uh, I'll hand you back over to myself uh, out in the field for the proper commentating from the field this afternoon. Yep, you can see how stable she is, look. This is in GPS hold mode. Just bring her into frame for you so you can see a bit better. This is a very, very modified Common Copter 450 X-CAM frame. Been taken out to 650 millimeters wheelbase. Uh, we are running currently on there two 2200 3S batteries. And they are the 2213 Emax motors. And the flight controller we're using today on this one is a NASA light. Okay, let's see what she can do. And off we go. nice and stable anybody with a little bit of modicum of sense will be able to fly this without any problems at all a very 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 forgiving little copter very sweet easy to handle as you can see stable as a rock hands off the controls absolutely superb little piece of kit unfortunately the uh, kit straight out of the box isn't so good. Uh, one or two of the items are a bit um, suspect. Um, the tube mounts were made of plastic that I really don't want to talk about. They weren't very good at all. Uh, the uh, motor mounts have got a lot to be desired as well to be fair. Uh, and we had to use different um, bolts on them because the ones that were supplied uh, weren't long enough to take purchase on the uh, the nylocks that are supplied so um, we had to replace those uh, had to replace the tube mounts as I said uh, with aluminium ones because the plastic ones were absolute waste of time uh, the undercarriage has been shortened and we've replaced all of the stock aluminium tubes that come with the kit um, with 25 millimeter carbon tubes as you can see but um, a very, very forgiving little copter. Uh, but um, I think um, you'll all agree that's a nice little bit of kit and a lot of fun. bit of altitude on it just see what she's like nice and stable in the descend as well not too much wobble a little bit of prop wobble there forgot to say on the propeller front we're using t uh, 10 1055 full carbon propellers uh, don't ever use poly anymore because they're just too prone to going wrong uh, we did have a small problem earlier on with this when we threw a prop on it because silly idiot here didn't do one of the bolts up tight enough but luckily she was only flying um, about a foot off the ground when the propeller um, decided to 
move away from the uh, quadcopter. Quite a spectacular tumble, but no damage. Nice little piece of kit. I think this is a real nice, easy to fly. You know, this is uh, bags of fun. Performance wise, you know, it's okay. I feel that the need to put an FPV camera on it during the week and uh, see how we get on with it as an, as an FP, FPV platform, uh, I think is probably going to be pretty good. As you can see, she's rock stable. I mean, this really is a really nice, stable little quadcopter. You know, I mean, for anybody that's coming into this hobby, I think this setup, the way this is at the moment, I mean, look at that. I've got no hands on the controls at all. As you can see, steady as a rock. Absolutely fabulous looking thing. These batteries are giving about eight minutes if you just throw it around the sky, so it's not too bad. But we should be sort of coming up to no battery life in a minute. I've been running it with uh, some 4S uh, 5000 batteries, the cheap Turnigy ones that are available uh, from Hobby King at the moment, which you can get for about 20 quid, which are absolutely banging value for money. Uh, and she flies for about 12 minutes um, on those. As you can see, there we go, that's our battery warning coming up. So. I think the prudent thing to do is bring her back in, but do a few gentle hovers in front so you can have a, have a good look at her before the batteries go, go west on us. That's what she looks like from the bum. Just give her a gentle spin round so you can have a... I think we're just about to lose our batteries, I think. It's getting a bit wobbly. So the prudent thing to do is land. There you are. There's our highly modified Concopter 450. And thanks for watching.